Go to court clopping in the storm tracker weather center tracking a lot of water headed our way. Yeah, Linda, that's right. And we love to see the wet weather heading in, but this is going to bring some major impacts to our region. So don't forget that umbrella as you're getting ready to take on the day and give yourself extra time on the roads. Lighter showers this morning, giving way to heavier rainfall this afternoon through most of Friday morning. We are seeing gusty south winds as well that could cause some travel impacts or power outages. And then the soggy conditions continue into early next week with even heavier rain fall possible this weekend into early next week. Now the heavier rainfall ahead for today prompting flash flood watches to go into effect for the valley areas of Tehama and Shasta County. That's from 5 p.m. this evening through 8 a.m. Friday morning for areas of the foothills up into areas of Lassen and Plumas County as well as the Shasta, Tehama and Butte County foothills. That's 11 p.m. tonight through 11 a.m. Friday morning. The biggest concerns around our recent burn scars. Wind advisory also in effect from 8 a.m. this morning through 8 a.m. Friday for Modoc and Siskiyou counties. Gusts there up to 55 miles an hour out of the south, but all of us expecting gusty winds throughout today and temperatures starting out warmer this morning with 50s in the valley and foothills, 40s in our mountain zones. Wind not very strong yet, but it will be picking up for the gusts through this afternoon. Getting a look at this, we're looking at gusts in the 30 to 40 mile an hour range for most of our region later today with the strongest gusts around the Oregon border. Very windy through early Friday, wind subsiding Friday afternoon. Satellite and radar light scattered showers moving up into our region this morning as low pressure is off the coast of the Pacific Northwest driving this wet weather heading in. That's going to continue to pummel our region with gusty winds and rain heading through. So as you get a look at your hyperlocal future cast, it's lighter showers early to midday this afternoon, heavier rain settling in and becoming much more substantial tonight through early Friday morning. This is going to be a major impact to our region and then we have more active weather on the way moving through your upcoming weekend. Rain totals from this first wave heading through tonight through tomorrow over an inch in many areas of the valley, upwards of two inches in some mountain zones. Those rain totals continue to bolster through this weekend into early next week and they are substantial heading into your early to midweek forecast next week. Snow totals backing off on the models a little bit now. We're going to be seeing up to around 10 inches possible through Sunday afternoon. Monday into early Tuesday, a bit more of that snow on the way with the heaviest falling down closer to Tahoe. This afternoon, rain on the way for the northern mountains. Temperatures mostly in the 50s later today. Mostly 50s in the Sierra and Southern Cascades with heavier rain for this afternoon and tonight. Foothill areas, showers in the morning and then heavier rain late today. 50s to low 60s and in the valley, it's low to mid 60s in the northern zones. Scattered showers in the morning with gusty winds and heavier rain moving in this evening. So again, get ready. It is going to be very wet and very windy in your Thursday forecast, especially Thursday night through early to midday Friday. Your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast where your weekend's always in view. Low to mid 60s today and tomorrow with heavier rainfall tonight through early Friday. Lighter showers Friday afternoon through early to midday Saturday with heavier rainfall Saturday evening through early next week and snowfall will be more abundant as well. Showers finally stopping the intensifying Monday into Tuesday, but still wet weather possible into next week. And of course, if you can't stick with your TV, you can always find us online or on our app, the Storm Tracker mobile app. Find that in the App Store. And Linda, I'll have more details on that forecast coming up.